Vital Moon Volume 55. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Alright, Vinyl Moon uh, Volume 55, the name of this one is called Play It Cool Oscillator, and I don't know what to think of this, uh, just by looking at it, it looks absolutely crazy. So, we're going to go ahead and open it up here, and obviously first thing we have, uh, we have all the song titles and lyrics for each song. So, really cool. We'll go ahead and read what it has to say. Volume 55, life is what you make it. Isn't that how the saying goes, or is it? Life is what the one who pulls the strings make it. Ain't that the truth? We try our damnness and hold on our tightest and play it our coolest. But in the end, it often feels like we are just riding someone else's roller coaster. And the kid in charge forgot to strap us in. But even when we're in the middle of life's corkscrew, we still have a choice. We can let the hands above pull the strings and turn our pages for us. Or we can grab the corners ourselves and get involved. We might pick up a paper cut or two along the way. But at the end of the day, we'll have built something. Hmm. Something solid and sturdy that we can lean on when we need support and hide under when we need shelter. When we lose our center, life can definitely feel like a jungle and make us feel almost invisible. But that's exactly when we need to build a damn bridge to the other side. Or just blame it on the moon. Huh. I have no idea what kind of music to expect on this uh, mixtape here for 55. But we're going to go ahead and check out... Wow. This is, guys, this is crazy. This is nuts. It's like, almost like it's like origami stuff. And it looks like this kind of goes into like a, a, a triangle here. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> that does look pretty cool, I must say. I must say. Wow. All right. So we're going to go ahead and pull this record out. Wow. But okay, we're going to go ahead and pull this record out now. And wow. Set this back. Huh. It almost has like a milky kind of color, um, but very transparent. I do like it. I can only imagine what kind of music is going to be on this record. This, this is going to be interesting. I'm not even sure which is side A. Oh, this is side A. Duh. Has a side A label on it. We're going to go ahead and throw this on the turntable. Like I said, I'm really excited to see what's on this record and uh, take a listen to it. I'll be right back. Alright, I am back in Vinyl Moon, a volume at 55, play it cool, oscillator. This was a definitely different kind of mixtape that I really wasn't expecting, but we're going to jump right into the songs. Starting out with the first song, the name of the artist is called BB Normal. The name of the song is called Baseball, and it was a, just an instrumental, but it had an 80 synth video game kind of sound. It's very experimental, very experimental um, with like the the synths and everything. And it definitely sounded like it could be in a video game for sure. Moving into the next artist, 
The next artist is called a Soft Tiger. The name of the song is called Jungle, and it was an electronic pop. Had a lot of panning from left to right on the vocals, um, listening it in, like in stereo. Um, but it was more about like having someone that you know you will get through the hard times with. Um, there was a lot of stuff you know going on in the world, um, and it was basically like they were kind of explaining it as to me at least it sounded like the jungle was like you know the world and all these things and obstacles that get in your way so it was a, it was a good one then the next song yeah and at side a misty mountains the name of the artist the name of the song is called silver and um i like the delivery and the cadence and the verse um the song fit the narrative like of the mixtape so one of the vocals it says blaming on the moon which is also uh you know kind of just at the very end of what I read there, it said, just blame it on the moon. So it definitely fit the narrative fine. And it was a song also about letting go of your feelings. And it had a nice, like, punchy flow instrumental to it. I really liked that one. Then uh, the next song, uh, the name of the artist is called Rain Lights. The name of the song is called Say It. And it had a slower tempo. It was relaxed. It was chill. Um, I can tell that the artist was a singer. Um, the vocals were so prevalent. Um, but I like the melody. Uh, to me, it's another song about expressing your feelings and being in love. Um, that's what I got from it for the most part. All right, moving in to the next artist, uh, Le Module. The name of the song is called I've Lost Center. Uh, it was an electronic, uh, more dancey instrumental, very outer space vocals. Uh, had a lot of reverb, cool effect. Um, but I always like usually want to hear more like clarity in the vocals than more of the reverb and the effects. Um, thankfully, it's just in the chorus, though. To me, the song entails digging deeper inside of yourself. Uh, moving into the next artist. The name of the artist is called Chewing. Uh, the name of the song is called uh, Pop or P-O-B-002. Um, it was just an instrumental. It had a synth heavy, and it was sounded really darker. Um, but like I said, just an instrumental. Uh, the next artist, Electric Kiff, the name of the song is called St. Germain. It had a chill vibe, nice bass groove instrumental. I was really feeling this one. It was like going on a journey in a way. It was it was a really nice instrumental. I, I really like this one. The next artist, Ferrari Garden. The name of the song is called Bridge. It had a pop sound to it. It was about finding your other half and being afraid to let the feelings out, um, you know, and possibly ending up alone. So that's what I got from it, at least. Uh, the name of the next artist, Night One. The song is called A Little Of You. And it had a 90s R&B sound. Uh... And it's about not being able to get over uh, someone that has a piece of your heart. Um, you just can't, can't get over it. Uh, moving into the next artist. The name of the artist is called Tura. The name of the song is called Almost Invisible. Um, and it was mostly a piano singer. Piano and the singer. Uh, it's about not really being seen out in the world when it comes to meeting people. Usually everything nowadays especially is about social networking, being online, and it's less about that and, and, and more about being real with someone. But the vocals were beautiful. And for the last song, the very last song in side B, uh, the name of the artist is called Alex Finn. The name of the song is called LMG. Uh, and it was an unexpected instrumental, but I love the opening halfway through. Uh, it just, like, opened up. And the vocal samples uh, just really made the instrumental. It was very uh, innovative the way that he did, like, the sample of the vocal and put it in the instrumental. Um, it had more of, like, a haunting sound to it, like, very darker. But at the same time, I mean, it has, uh, I believe the song does actually have to... Uh, deal with someone dying in you know about death so or losing someone so I understand the way that the uh, instrumental went but uh, great good song good song it's definitely like I said I was skeptical at the beginning but when it opened up halfway through I was definitely feeling it uh, and then uh, ladies and gentlemen that is it that is it for play it cool oscillator um, vinyl moon you guys already know uh, the artwork especially uh, opening everything up it was definitely unexpected and I liked it and there were definitely a couple songs that I really liked honestly I can't put it down for you guys and say oh this one was the best one um, uh, definitely the three that I really liked was Misty Mountain Silver Rain Light Say It and I believe um, 
the Electric Kiff St. Germain. I really like those ones, um, but I don't really have a favorite one. There was one, one that was like, oh my gosh, this is it. But those three, um, I'll definitely be listening again because they were awesome. All right, guys. And once again, I thank you so much for uh, checking out KTM Casey Blue. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll have all the links to my music and things like that down below. I'm also an artist myself. So make sure you guys check me out on Facebook, SoundCloud. All that stuff will be listed in the description. Make sure you guys stay safe out there. And I'll see you guys next time.